Why would you want a relationship with your tattoo artist? I think anybody should want to have a, a relationship with their tattoo artist because one, you're entrusting someone to put permanent, something permanent on your body and you're spending a great deal of time with them, especially if you're getting large pieces like what I have. And you just want to feel comfortable and be able to make sure that they're able to answer whatever questions you have, any concerns, um, and just know that you're in good hands. I personally do have a relationship with my tattoo artist. Um, I don't know how unique this is, but I was friends with my tattoo artist, Imani Brown, can I say the name? Okay, sure. <laughs> Gotta shout you out, Imani Brown, prior to her working on my, um, my sleeves, and um, that made it even easier for me to just communicate to her what it is that I wanted to do. And um, I don't think I would have been as comfortable going to another tattoo artist who could have been equally as talented or better or whatever without that relationship. So I'm not visually artistic in terms of how I express what I, what my, my artistic visions. I have a vision in my head, a mental vision, and I know what looks good. I could put things together, but in terms of drawing or be able to say, I guess, yes, being able to draw, I can't do that, but I can provide descriptive language. So having been familiar with and seen her work over the years and known people who have gone to her and gotten tattoos, I said, okay, well that, I'll just provide that descriptive language on paper to, to communicate to her what it is that I want for my sleeves. And she provided sketches and it worked because I'm good at descriptive language and she's a great artist. My relationship with my artist looks like love and family and unicorn explosiveness and happiness and sisterhood. Um, it is important to have a relationship with your tattoo artist because as people we share and exchange energy on a regular basis um, for everything and so if I'm going to spend hours with somebody touching my body and pulling energy out of me and even sharing thought processes I need to trust that person all touches ain't good touches and all energy ain't good energy. So it's important to, to have someone tattooing you that you, one, can relate to, that you respect, that has sound, wise judgment and counsel, and that actually knows their craft, their experience. They do what they need to do to keep their craft at a subpar level. I'm not subpar, but like way up here. Like it's not crap and they're calling it great work. So you should make sure that whoever is gonna to be touching you is someone who knows their shit. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so like I said, my tattoo artist is my sister. <laughs> it's um my, my, my older sister. So it's like mom and little sister and big sister clash sometimes. It's like, no, I'm not doing that. Think about it. And it's like, okay. And then it's, you were right, you win. So it's, uh, it's, I love it. And now it's at a point where I don't even, I just think of an idea and I go, you just tell me what, what is gonna happen because I'm just a representative of your work. I'm, I'm a human canvas. So as long as it matches with my personality and my energy and my end game, put it on me, I'm good. Um, it was definitely important for me to have a, a not, not necessarily a relationship, they had to be a likable, honest, real person who I would want to hang around. Um, that, that was just important for me because I don't want no whack person or some jerk or some asshole, somebody I didn't like putting something on my arm. I don't have to like love the person, but I knew they had to be a very, you know, likable, cool person. So um, that, was, that was the most important thing for me because, you know, I wanted to be comfortable. This is a serious thing. Um, it's real, it's gonna be there forever. So I would definitely want to uh, like the person. Um, I think I do have a relationship with them. I think it looks like uh, like a cool person from the neighborhood. I mean, ironically, we grew up in the same neighborhood. We didn't even know that until, you know, I think you started, you know, putting my tat on. I think that was actually like just special for me, meant to be. I mean, um, that you being from Ivy City, me being from Trinidad, that was the same two neighborhoods. That was just, that made it, all the more like, you know, just like meant to be. So um, 
I consider her a homegirl, like somebody from the neighborhood. 